In a perfect world, we would never have any conflicts with other people, and all of our interactions would be calm and peaceful. But as you have probably already noticed, our world is far from perfect, and humans are no exception. Someone might say or do something to you, and you go from cool as a cucumber to boiling hot in a split second. Your heart rate jumps, you actually feel hot, your guard goes up, and you're ready to defend yourself and even fight back if you have to. This could be fighting with words or even escalate into a physical conflict. You see, when we are boiling hot, we can't think clearly. Our fight or flight system has kicked in, and the part of your brain that does the best thinking has literally shut down. Our brain has been hijacked. I remember this one time, I had an argument with my mom. I started cool, and all of a sudden I was boiling hot. I made a decision in this state, and that decision was to fight with words, and I said something hurtful. And then something happened. I went to my room, spent some time away from my mom, and before long I was cool again. And what we were arguing about wasn't that important anymore. All I could think about was how sad I was and regretful because I had hurt someone I loved. And I couldn't take those words back no matter how sorry I was. I've had similar experiences with my friends and even strangers. Every time I've made a decision when I'm boiling hot, I've later regretted it and wished I could do it over again. I'm here to tell you there's a better way. It's worked for me and I know it can work for you too. When you feel yourself starting to bubble on the inside and you're heading for a boiling point, think COOL. COOL stands for create space, offer a timeout, objectively talk through it, and listen. When we create space, we allow ourselves to take back control of our brain and make a decision we'll be happier with in the end. This is a crucial step and probably the hardest. When we're at a boiling point, we need space so that we can think clearly again. This is why you see referees creating space in between two players who are boiling hot. Unfortunately, there are no referees walking around, so you have to be your own referee and create your own space. This may mean turning around and walking in the opposite direction when someone is calling you out, or excusing yourself from the dinner table when a conversation starts to get heated. It's not easy to do, but I know you can do it because you are emotionally intelligent. When we offer a timeout, we are saying, this is important to me, but not something I want to fight about. Let's talk later when we can solve the problem, not create more problems. When we objectively talk through it, we say how we really feel in a calm tone with a neutral perspective. When we listen, we learn about the other person and respect their point of view, even if we don't agree. A time that I had to use the cool steps was recently when a coworker said something to me that rubbed me in the wrong way. I felt disrespected, and I could tell I was starting to bubble, so I created space by leaving the room. If I had made a decision in that boiling moment in front of the students, I might have said something that would have created big problems for me or set a bad example for my students. When I created space, I regained control of my brain. I had time to think about it, and I realized that it wasn't that big of a deal. My coworker was probably just frustrated because her lesson wasn't going as planned, and I was distracting them at a critical moment. When we spoke again, I was cool and we solved the problem. Let's review the steps to cool down when we are in a boiling hot situation with someone. Create space, offer a timeout, objectively talk through it and listen. Instead of flipping your lid and acting like a fool, recognize you're losing it and keep it cool.